In the last episode, we endeavoured to find out what wildlife are visiting our land using our new trap camera from Temu. And so far, we've seen some wild cats around the house. At the lake, we found terrapins and a variety of birds. Then a somewhat mysterious creature appeared in the footage that perhaps lives in this interesting looking hole. Here in the mountains of central Portugal, it has been a place of varying weather during winter this year. And I say this year because we've heard from a few people that the weather is particularly unusual. We've seen frost and minus degrees Celsius temperatures, low cloud, perhaps even snow, strong winds and rain. Then the sun comes out, it's 20 degrees and we're in t-shirts. Trixie, are you coming for a walk? Bom dia and welcome to this sunny day on the farm and it's February and I'm wearing a t-shirt. I can't believe it to be honest. I'm just wondering as well what temperature it is in the UK right now. It feels like about 20 degrees most days and actually what time is it right now? About 10 o'clock. It really is a lovely day. Trixie come on. Hello. Oh, you want ball, you also? Should we get it? Today, I thought I'd take you on a morning walk. We do it pretty much every day. Johnny's actually working on another project at the moment because he likes to have multiple projects at once. Now he's turning his attention to doing something like installing taps on the farm. Now our friend is a plumber, shout out to James, and we highly recommend him. But Johnny's giving it a go at doing the plumbing himself. We'll see how he gets on, shall we? Back to the morning walk, and we're just approaching the lake and the stream now. I'm probably squinting a little bit as well because the sun is quite low and bright. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm almost working up a sweat, to be honest, just walking. We're just coming up to these little white flowers that have appeared on the farm just recently. And we've been told that they are chamomile. So I think we might pick some, dry them, and maybe make some chamomile tea. You all right, buddy? Oh, you're such a good doggy. Not like the other one. Where is she? Trixie, come. Come on then. Such a lovely picture watching her run through the chamomile flowers. You're a cute dog, aren't you? And seeing as we're going past them, I thought I'd show you our avocado trees because they're not doing too well, unfortunately. We think it's probably due to the frost that we had. And apparently we should expect some more frost and cold weather and rain. We've heard that it's unusual to have this sunny weather at this time of year. And this is the mango tree. So again, I think the frost is doing it some damage. Because they were doing so well in the summer. They were lovely and green. They had new growth. We were quite pleased with how they were coming along and we bought them from the local market here so we thought well these trees must have been grown in Portugal so they must be able to survive in Portugal but as a result of the trees not doing so well we're now looking into some polytunnels so if you know any good polytunnel providers in Portugal do let us know in the comments below Trixie! Whoa. Come on then, let's go and have a look at the lake. And actually, we have put some new fish in our lake. Okay, Chloe, do you think this is a good spot to put the fish? Do you think it's a good place? Shall I help you? Oh, that bloody dog. 
Trixie! Fancy a drink, Wilson? Fancy a drink from the lake? Not quite warm enough for a swim yet, is it? Let's do the fish checking, see if we can see any. What have you found? Did you see a frog? Ah, Trixie's returned. Back to the fish checking. I don't usually see them around here. I've seen some basking over there. While we're here at the lake, I would like to clean all of these brambles and stuff, but there's birds that go in and out there and actually use this for nesting. Now, in our previous video, one of our viewers told us that brambles are actually a carnivorous plant. So the birds go in there, they get stuck, they die, and then the brambles use the decomposing body, I guess, to feed itself which makes me hate these brambles even more. Not only that, but they're actually suffocating this olive tree that's in there. And this olive tree actually did provide us quite a few fruits this year. So it'd be good to remove these brambles and clean this place up a little bit. Those ones over there too. Those ones there, there and then plant something a bit nicer. We've actually got some camellias that need to go in the ground. So maybe those instead. Good dad, old Trixie, it gets very deep there. That's it. Come on, Wilson. Come on. That's enough. Scaring all the frogs. And the frogs actually went quite quiet over winter. I've only seen maybe one or two, and I think that might have been one there that Wilson was snuffling out. I'm not seeing anything. And my shadow's probably scaring most of the life away. That is the trouble with the sun, the winter sun it's quite low and casts a huge shadow over the water. Nothing there. Let's go and take a look at the stream. Oh, there's a little robin in that tree. Don't know if you can see him. Oh, it's so cute. I think this is the places we're going to get. And this is a wide angle camera lens, so can't really get close up to them. Not like my other camera anyway. And actually, it was there where I filmed Black Cat Warbler the other day. Here's the stream. And as I've mentioned, it has got naturally quite a lot wider. So instead of digging anymore, I'm probably just gonna lay some more rocks on here but yeah this is the original size of it there but it's come all the way out here and there and actually johnny got a shot of this when it was flowing at its strongest we've seen it so far i've started working on this pathway that goes over the stream but it kind of ends there right now so there's definitely more work to do here Such a beautiful view here. Absolutely love it. And this here, what we call the secret pathway, didn't actually exist. Oh, there's a bumblebee.
I love that we can just get so close to these bumblebees. As I've mentioned, this is a wide angle camera lens and they just let you get so close up to them. <laughs> I still get a little bit worried when they fly past like that though. But I'm learning to trust them. Look, butterflies there. Maybe they're mating. Oh, the bumblebee's back. I've been trying to capture butterflies like that for a while. Capture on film, I mean, not actually capture. So that was really lovely to see that. Come on then, Wilson. This is a beautiful cork oak tree. I think it's the biggest one that we have on our farm. These are actually a protected species here in Portugal. And they're a bit hollow sounding. We didn't know this until we moved here, but I think the majority of the world's cork like you know for wine bottles and stuff like that the cork stoppers comes from Portugal I did a bit of research and according to a source online Portugal is the world's leading producer of natural cork the country exports around 65% of the world's cork Wilson come come on we go this way because actually what's quite nice to show you is the mimosas are covered in these beautiful yellow flowers, I guess you'd call them, or blossom. And we think it's seeds, so they're dropping a lot of these seeds everywhere. And they do grow a bit like a bramble. You see there's loads of young ones here. They're popping up absolutely everywhere. And we're thinking, maybe we'll leave them to grow a little bit and then use them for firewood. And when we were here actually the other day, we noticed there's some processionary caterpillar nests up there. don't know if you can quite see them on this camera. The little white balls up the top and they can be quite dangerous for doggies. So we've got to be careful because it is getting to that time processionary caterpillar season according to the portugal news the larvae are a major pest to coniferous forests and are the biggest cause of pine forest destruction it is the hair which is dangerous they defend themselves from predators with conspicuous hairs containing an irritant chemical and simple contact with these hairs can cause severe rashes and eye irritation in humans and could quite possibly be fatal for other animals. So we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled on the ground for these very little critters. These pine trees are gorgeous, but they are usually the home for those caterpillars. So I think we might get some traps for the bottom of the trees. Because then when they come down the tree, they get stuck in the trap. I don't like it. I don't like stopping nature, I guess, but we've got to protect our doggies. And down there is where that interesting looking hole is, where we found an animal that we don't usually see. Flashback. So we saw some activity by the interesting hole from a distance, and then the dog snuffed out this area of the fence. So we decided to place the camera here. The following day, I headed down to the camera to see what we found. While I review the footage to see if we've captured anything overnight, I thought I'd show you this new soap that we've been using at home. And this is a sample of Sandra's soaps. And this is the purple clay soap. And one thing I have noticed after using this is it's just really soft. Like when you wash your hands with it, or even in the shower, it just lavers up really nicely such a nice soap so I just want to tell you about it and if you're interested in getting your hands on some of this soap 
then there's actually an offer on right now for one kilo of soap like this for 10 euros, which I think is just an amazing price for what you get. One kilo of soap. If you'd like to buy some, then click the button. Ooh. Legs hurting. Just go to our website, johnnyandsam.com and add one kilo of soap for 10 euros to your basket. Please get in touch using our contact page if you'd like to choose what you'd prefer from the soaps available. Otherwise, the soaps are chosen at random. Or if you'd like to purchase any of Sandra's soaps, then go to traditionalnatural.com where you can find beautiful, handmade, 100% natural soaps. And you can also use our discount code, which is located in this video's description. www.traditionalnatural.pt After reviewing the footage, we found quite a lot of life here, like birds and loads of butterflies. Then when the day turned to night, the first animal we saw in the footage was a cat. Feeling quite disappointed, I skipped to the next video, and it brought a smile to my face to see this beautiful fox. Now while it is a happy moment to see wildlife like this in nature, we must also start to consider how we might live together on the land. Because if we plan to have chickens in the future, foxes could be a problem. But for now, I think we'll just observe the life on our farm. End of flashback. Wilson's always really quick to run up here. I think he likes the view. Gosh, it really is warm today. Blimey. And we've had an idea to put a swing here so you can swing and look out at that gorgeous view. And just here, we've set up our new hammocks from Temu. Now I tested them out for the first time the other day. I absolutely love them. I think I'll have another relax now. That's a little bit unusual. <sighs> it's coming towards the end of winter now and we've not seen any snow. So Johnny and I decided to try and change that. We hopped in the truck and headed towards the Estrella mountain. Joseph. Oh, was it really? It was, yes. Huh. Don't know where I was looking. And approaching on the left is a very lovely facility. It produces one of the finest things in Portugal. Cannabis. Right here, you have a weed plantation. Extremely fantastic. And on the right here is where giants buy their bathtubs. Ah, yes. The giant bathtub store. Look at that. What a big man would fit in that bathtub. Or lots of small men. After those lessons with Johnny, and as we got closer to the mountain, we could see snow, and in front of us was a rainbow. What a picturesque place we live in. A few moments later, we reached the place of Cavilia, where we saw blue skies, bright sunshine, and the colourful rainbow. The mimosa trees were also looking colourful with their yellow blossom. We began our climb up the mountain, still surrounded by blue skies, vibrant colours and light. Moments later, the weather changed in an instant. The sky turned grey, covering the sun, and sleep-type rain appeared as we made our way into the clouds. Altitude, 1,200 metres. Breaking bad. Oh, the weather's starting to turn. Just like that. 
windy as well, isn't it? Windy. I like the rocks. I'm not retarded, but I like rocks. Oh, that's a big rock there. It's a big rock. Ooh, snow. Ooh. I'm so excited to see the snow. Oh, snow. Are you excited? Very much. Oh, is this the hotel? The Luna Hotel? So, yeah. It's in a pretty setting, isn't it? Dusting of snow over the rocks. Still pretty busy up here. Apparently, it's going to be minus 14 degrees up the top of the Serra de Estrella. Well, it's supposed to be that's the feeling with the wind chill. So the chill is minus 14 degrees Celsius. So we'll see about that. Mate, look at that. What, this little coal? Yeah. <laughs> well, if that can make it, then we can. Sure. There's a nice lake thing there. There is. Pretty nice. We seem to be the only ones going up now. There's a lot of people coming down. Oh no, there yeah. we go. It's happening there. Maybe everyone's watching each other do donuts. There's a queue. Maybe the road ahead is closed. This is the busiest I've ever seen this road. Yeah, it's normally empty in the height of summer. I thought we were going to be travelling up here alone. Seems we're not the only stupid people. Oh, okay, they've blocked off the road up there then. The GNR have closed the road by the looks mm. of it. Or have they? I don't know. I'm not sure. Look at all these people here. Oh. And we could drive up there really easily. Should we drive up there, Billy? Lots of wind. Stormy, bro. <laughs> Whoa, it's windy. Oh, it's nice. It's actually quite nice out here. It's a bit chilly, but it's fresh. Well, I can't do donuts. <sighs> Lovely view. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've shut the mountain pass that way. Fun. On our way back down the mountain, we stopped off at this magical looking forest. Fresh 
Alpha Powder. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Johnny and Sam. Also, why not click on one of the video windows to see more? Thanks for watching. Go for a dip. A what? Go for a dip. Go <laughs> for a dip. Come on, be a man. What is ice bath fit the people are doing? But I tell you what, it's lovely to be able to choose to come and experience the snow and then we go back to the sun. <laughs> <laughs>